Morning. Coffee. Thank you. So what are we doing today? i tell you what I want to do today. Okay, go on then. Um, I'd like to go and see the waterfalls. Okay. And have a swim in the waterfalls. That would be nice, isn't it? So we should rent a car, really. Okay. How about that? Really? Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later, we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. Uh, around in the uh, breakwater and it's taken us uh, an extra 42 minutes than we anticipated really but that's not bad considering um, we didn't have much wind at times we had did wind so yeah all in all we're quite pleased and we're glad to be in uh, before dark First thing the next morning we had cleared into San Miguel and we could go to the marina. However, the wind was blowing us onto the quay. This is a little lesson in how to uh, spring off a quay. We've got the wind actually coming from over here and blowing us on. So we're going to keep a line on the front, move forward, turn the stern out and then come out. The trick here is to make sure you have a good fender right at the front of the boat. You then drop the bow and stern line followed by the rear spring line. You power forward onto the key side. As soon as the spring line goes tight, the stern will start to pull out. We've put a couple of fenders here at the front so we don't uh, damage the boat. There we go forward. Dropping the spring line as you go, it really is as simple as this. This is a bit more of a tricky situation than it looks because we've got a crosswind blowing us off the uh, pontoon and in this first attempt I actually get it wrong and uh, uh, so I come out and go back in as you will see. I always find it is better to come up into the wind. It gives you more control. You need to get the stern line on as quickly as possible. Then move it forward onto the line. Leaving the power on, you will sit alongside the pontoon. Ponta Delgada is the largest port in the Azores. The breakwater is over one and a half kilometres long and apart from the commercial port holds two marinas. The new West Marina is normally used by visiting yachts and has over 100 berths available. JP, who has lived on the island for 40 years and is a follower of our channel, offered to show us the highlights of San Miguel. Yeah, so this is uh, Lagoa de Sete Cidades. Uh, a princess and a shepherd and they fall in love. And uh, the king found out and uh, told the princess, you stay in the palace 
and the shepherd goes to the other side and stay there with the cows. So the shepherd had blue eyes, the princess had green eyes, they start weeping <laughs> when it, we had it and they, they fill up the, the lakes with green and blue. Nice story. <laughs> <laughs> The Twin Lakes are the remains of a volcanic crater. On a bright day, the one lake looks blue and the other is a vibrant green, due to natural pollutants in water. The oldest and currently the only tea plantation in Europe, Goriana have been cultivating tea since 1883. They still make it in the traditional methods of the Orient. Goriana has been in the same family for five generations. Furnas in the central part of the village, springs and geysers are prevalent. 30 springs each of different temperatures and chemical compositions. The local inhabitants cook corn type dishes in these geysers. It is time to replace the lazy lines on our sail bank. For some time now, the cord has been snapping with the UV degradation. Stage one is to remove the old lines, but not before you have put a draw cord through the block on the mast. Stage two, I remove the three blocks from the old line. Stage 3, I measure, cut and seal the new lines. Stage 4, I tie the three blocks on with halyard knots. It is then just a matter of threading the new line through the block on the mast and tying bowlings on each of the four tags on the sail bag. Top tip here is to make the loop small and the tails long. They are less likely to come undone and to snag on anything. What are we doing today? I tell you what I want to do today. Okay, go on then. Um, I'd like to go and see the waterfalls. Okay. And have a swim in the waterfalls. That would be nice, isn't it? So we should rent a car, really. Okay. How about that? Brilliant.
Hey, I love waterfalls. But as soon as I get there, they are so cold. The water is so yeah, cold, freezing. and I'm never brave enough to go in. I will this time. <laughs> I will. Maybe. enjoyed this video where we arrived in uh, San Miguel, Ponta Delgada. We did, it was, uh, it was quite a good journey really. The first uh, sort of six hours was a bit bumpy um, but after that it did calm down and uh, yeah it wasn't a bad run. Yeah, it was 92 miles, 93 miles. Yeah, I, uh, I had day. a bit of seasick but... Yeah you only threw up once <laughs> 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 on that one. Yeah. And then we had the challenge the next day of getting off the docks um, but uh, that all went quite well really Yeah. and uh, that was all quite successful. So. That was just a little sort of uh, suggestion about how I do it. Probably other people have got better ideas. But, um, yep, yeah, that's what we tend to do when we get into a sort of tricky situation, especially with the men mooring, yes. more, mooring style, mooring side, coming yeah. in backwards on the mm. quay. Yeah. And then uh, JP came along and took us out. Took us out, yeah. He's been great. He's uh, helping us here in uh, Ponta Delgada. He just uh, takes us everywhere. So we went to see the, um, uh, the lakes of the Seven Cities, which is amazing, so beautiful, stunning. so beautiful, yeah. stunning. Yeah. You couldn't see very well on that day because it was a bit cloudy, but the lakes are actually, one is green, one is blue. Yeah, they're very sense. vivid, the colours, yeah, actually. The, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, the other day we went, it was a little yeah. bit cloudy, which it often is here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah then we went to Funas, where they have these uh, geysers, um, so where they normally cook their food. And not whole food, but certain dishes they can cook inside of those um, geysers. It's quite incredible, actually. The yeah. water is absolutely boiling, and so they put like uh, corn uh, in in a sack and then just put it in the uh, puddles of boiling water. It makes you thinking on the um, the powerful of yeah, nature, isn't it? Does. It? it does, and it's very thin crust that we live on in places, isn't it? Yes. You know, and yeah. apparently there's been quite a few uh, tremors here, haven't there? Yeah, yeah. Over the last week, yeah. uh, we haven't noticed them, but I understand there has been. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then we went to have a cup of tea. Yeah, at the tea factory. Cup it's, of Rosalie. Uh, the only one in Europe. Europe. The only yeah. tea, tree, tr so tea pretty, plantation. It's so pretty yeah. because you yeah. see all the plantations. Yes. It's so uh, very well cut, isn't it? It so, is. It's so it beautiful. Is. And the whole said, island is beautiful, yeah. amazingly yeah. beautiful. It's yeah. just yeah. unbelievable. It is. It's, everything is so well looked after, isn't yeah. it? Everywhere you go, there's uh, beautiful gardens and uh, barbecues. Barbecue you areas. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it's stunning. It really stunning. is stunning. Yeah. And then we had a little trip to the waterfalls. Yeah, the waterfalls were beautiful. I really wanted to go to waterfalls and finally <laughs> I got it. <laughs> actually had a little lake to swim in, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. You actually went swimming in it as well. I did. You did. Yeah. <laughs> I told yeah. you I was going you to. You did. You did. I <laughs> know, oh, it was, um, it was it's lovely. It's very cold, the water, but once you were in it, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. 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 So all in all, we've absolutely uh, loved Loving San Miguel. San Miguel, yeah. yes, yes. So thank you very much for following us. If you want to see more of these islands, just uh, keep watching us. And please uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, yeah, and that's it. Thank you. See you next week. Bye for now. Thank you.